Julian in the building, Mark in the building, huh? the nurse in the building. Yeah. What's up, boys? Fellas, Hi. thank you so much for hanging out today, man. How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing well, man. Doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Up until about, uh, this is kind of random, but I've seen everybody on my feed lately talking about Unify. Were you guys able to make it to Unify? Uh, I didn't go. I think, to, um, I think just our base yeah, is all the yeah. yeah. Dang, that's crazy. Oh. But it seemed like a pretty pretty good time, man. Everyone seems like it's, you know, it's back in action. Festivals are happening and people are having a good time. Which is amazing and, and I'm glad. Uh, for those that may not know you guys, can you properly introduce yourself? Uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are and plug or promote anything you'd like. Awesome. I'll start, I guess. Uh, I'm Julian. I'm the singer from Inertia here in Sydney. I live down the road from Mark, who's on my left or on the right, depending on <laughs> what, what you're seeing. Um, yeah, go for it, Mark. It's your go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Julian sings. I play guitar and do the production work in Inertia. Uh, yeah, Sydney, Australia. We got that Aussie metalcore thing going for us. I love it. I love it. How did and you... I how did you guys meet? Oh, uh, so that was actually a funny story. I, in my last band, I was kind of, I left my last band and I was kind of, I, I kind of gave up on the whole hardcore thing for a little while when I did my little pop and R&B <laughs> side shit. And then I got a, an inbox from a friend, a mutual friend saying, hey, this band's looking for a singer and I reckon you'd be a great fit. So I hit him up on Facebook and it was just like, send me some stuff and if i'm if i vibe it i'll come around and literally went to a practice and it's when i met them and officially became the new member of inertia that's awesome hell yeah i'm gonna start off with the uh, with hive mind and i'll probably end with the disguise which i think is my favorite in your guys catalog but we'll get there we'll get there um but let's check out hive mind what is what is hive mind about like lyrically especially lyrically it was I guess at the time we were writing it, the world was kind of going to shit and it was making us kind of reflect on what's what's kind of happened and what's what's to come for the future. So it's a little bit about like capitalism and what's that what that kind of means for our society nowadays that we're just kind of consuming without really thinking. So it was just kind of a almost like a wake up call and to be uh, just to say that like we don't have to, you know, subscribe to everything that everyone's throwing at us. You can kind of be an individual and make your own decisions. I like it. I like it. Hanging out with the nurse, and this is Hive Mine. Before it before it drops right here, who do you guys do for all your audio, or who go who you go to for all your audio production? Uh, that's me. Um, wow. I, I produced our EP and um, yeah, did all the recording and all that stuff. Uh, did the mix. Uh, we did get a, a little helping hand from. This dude, Callan Orr in Melbourne, uh, had a bit of a Zoom conversation and uh, he went through the songs and kind of gave his opinion on things as well. Uh, had a few little additions for synth layers here and there, but I think Hive Mind was actually already completely done. Um, it, it's more the other songs he he had a bit more to, to do with. But, um, it's impressive. Yeah, for this one, yeah, that was all. Most, I, I, I want to say mostly me. What do you use? Are you are you a Logic, yeah. Cubase, uh, Pro Tools? What do you use? Logic for me, yeah. Gotcha. Men of Reason use. Re uh, sorry, Men of Logic use Logic, man. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, do you have any unusual vocal warm up techniques? Your mic's off. I wouldn't say unusual. I did steal a little pre-show thing from Courtney from Spirit Box, where if I'm having a really rough day, I'll take a swig of hot sauce, and that kind of gets me through. But uh, oh, yeah. aside from that, just the usual, the usual shit, man. <laughs> do you have any hot sauce right now? I, I have, do. I if you're down to do some hot sauce, I got a little hot sauce right here. It's a, a ritual around here. If you want to do a little swig of hot sauce while we jam Arasaka. 
Mate, I'm That's down. Awesome. I'm down. I'll get it prepared. Mark, feel free to jump in too if you'd like, sir. It's never too early for a swig of hot sauce with some coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'll jam I'll jam our soccer real quick if you guys want to go grab it. If not, it's all good. We'll keep uh we'll keep hanging. Some of the production reminds me of what Chris Lilac does. Do you ever do you use any tips or tricks from him? Oh. It has like a sim like some of your snare hits Chris have like Lally. the same the same snappiness and like the way the guitars are mixed like thick like almost like a wall of guitars like it has similar mixing techniques to him. Uh, which is definitely a compliment. Yeah, I feel like we probably have some similar tastes, but uh, we haven't quite had the chance to nerd out about specifics. <laughs> but that's that's kind of, that's an interesting, uh, yeah, interesting, interesting note. Yeah, how did you guys link up with the uh, Ophelia? Uh, I actually met her when we were on tour with a band called Rumors. Uh, we were playing uh, a show in Melbourne uh, where Ophelia is from now. And yeah, we kind of, she kind of just checked out our set and loved what we did. So then we went to a bar after the show and we chatted for like hours. And then it just, it became, uh, you know, a thing. And we just haven't looked at any other PR since. Yeah, she's awesome. She she hooks it up around here as far as helping us out with getting all the kick-ass bands on the show. So shout out to Ophelia. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, do you yeah. have, or or Julian, do you have the hot sauce prepared, sir? I'm just going to do like a little yeah, cap full. A little cap full. This is like... This is a uh, black label hot sauce from Melbourne, from somewhere in Victoria. It's fucked off hot. I'm just gonna take a swig straight from the. I bowl. got I got like a level Cheers. seven. It's not super super hot, but it'll definitely sting. This cayenne pepper. Cheers. There you go. Cheers. Nice, fellas. Who who is a a band, a local band that you guys may jam with uh, quite frequently that we just have to know about? Oh, if you're Ooh. not already on board with Elision. Those are super close friends of ours. They write some fucking fire, fire shit. Would you say bored with Illusion? 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 Uh, e L I S I O N? Let's try that. Yeah. It did not come just, up. Yeah, just Illusion. Yeah. They just released a new song as well, so that do you know, should be. Do you know the title of the song? Um. Oh, blur. Let me Something. check it. It just came out. It just came out, and uh, it's actually oh, ridiculous. Blur. Shadow Blur by, by Elision. Shadow Blur, okay. Shadow Blur. My son's crying. A storm in the background. I can hear it. Here we go. Elision, Shadow Blur. Let's check them out. Video's all broken up, too, like by verse and... They have the, even though it's only a three minute video, it's all like, you know exactly where to go just for your favorite little part right there. Yeah, um, really good idea. Are you guys gamers at all? Not a little bit. I watch games. I think the rest of the boys play games. The only real games I play is Mario Kart, but I'm sure, I think uh, Ollie's been playing Elder, no, sorry. El Elden Ring, yeah. Elden Ring, yeah. I've not had a chance to play Elden Ring, but I, I hear it's absolutely incredible and extremely difficult. Um, I, Man, I, Dark Souls gives me is was like a traumatic experience for me, <laughs> so I'm good for that one. <laughs> yeah, that one is hard. Uh, I want to go ahead and play Disguise next, which I think is the first song I ever ever heard from you guys. I think was off off this particular EP. Um, could be still my favorite, but a little bit not as aggressive as some of the others. Can you talk about what this song means? Yeah, disguise really. yeah disguise was kind of we obviously when you're writing an ep you need things to flow it can't just be all one note throughout the whole uh throughout the whole thing so we were kind of tossing up you know how do we write a ballad but in the same fashion of what we're trying to do and this is what kind of came out it was very heartfelt in terms of lyrics like i was going through some shit and the best way to kind of for me to kind of get get with it was to write a song about it so this is just i guess a song about my struggle with myself and my identity really so um yeah it should be a little heartfelt number we'll play it here in a second i have one final question real quick before we do play it uh i do want to do some trivia with you guys something we do around here for all the guests i need to know what would you say is your strongest knowledge as far as movies or tv shows we, we know everything about Harry Potter. We know everything about The Simpsons. As a band, 
or just specifically Julian and Mark, what what would you two say you know the strongest knowledge about? I'm going to look up some trivia about that. Ask it to you. If you get it right, you get a spin on this wheel right here of which you could win all kinds of prizes or torture me. I'll give you a second to figure it out. Free uh, the weight skip, by the way, I think is going to Mac. And then this is disguise. So give you a second to think about it. Tell me that one's still in the set, the set list. Funny, um, funnily what? enough, we've what? never played it live. We've never played it live. You've never <laughs> played it live? Dang. If you guys ever if you guys ever get like a an encore, I would do that as like the last song uh at the encore. Even though it pay, may not be your it looks like Into the Gray is probably your biggest record. So maybe we'll save disguise and into the gray for the encore part, but um, <laughs> yeah. uh, is there is there a particular artist that you've wanted to have on on a release that just maybe just hasn't worked out, like a feature or anything? It could be. It doesn't have to be a vocalist. We maybe it could be like a guest guitarist yeah. or anything. Interesting. We we haven't really done the feature thing, to be honest. I think we've done it once. We we done it once with, with a band called The Beautiful Monument. Their singer Lizzie came on to yeah. uh, one of our songs, yeah. Reminisce. In terms of people I'd love to work with, I, I love working outside of the genre. I think that's what kind of gives us this kind of unique-ish sound. But like um, the singer from Paris, Lynn, Lynn Gunn, if I ever have the opportunity to like write something with her or get her on it, I would be absolutely livid. From Paris? Hell yeah. From uh, Paris, yeah, P-B-R-I-S. That, that, that first Paris album that had... Uh... My house and a couple other songs. That that whole album is so good. I mean, they have a, they have a lot of good jams, but that one in particular was like my absolute favorite. Hundred um, percent. Chat's telling me I need to show you this right now. Did you think of your trivia, by the way? We we had a little think. It's I think joint. I think we could do Star Wars. I'm pretty sure we're Star Wars nerdy enough to do Star Wars. Okay. Maybe just yeah. Maybe just. <laughs> Just Star Wars heard. Got you got it. We're, uh, let's check out After Our Animals. Let me know what you guys think of this. I have no idea what genre it's gonna be. I've never heard this before. I like how the music's like all funky. Yeah, it's funky, dude. The thing is fucking dope. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's, that's tight. Yeah. Guy can sing. Guy can sing. After Our Animals, my anxiety is definitely going on. All right, fellas. Star Wars, Episode One. The Phantom Menace, here is your question. What Gungan city is Jar Jar Binks from? Uh, Gungan city, that's uh, 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 Gunga. Uh, Gunga, Gunga city, uh, something, something. You almost got it. Uh, uh, You're missing the first word. Uh, uh. Is it is it Oda Gunga? That is correct. Uh, Give me the hell yeah! Well done. I thought that was a hard one. Wow. Wow. Let's do it. Amazing, dude. Well done. Hell yeah. Let's see what it lands on for you. It lands on your worst tattoo, fellas. Do you have any tattoos? And if so, you must tell me which one is your least favorite. Hell yeah. Hell yes. I was 15 when I got my first tattoo. I was overseas in my in my motherland of Mauritius, and I was 15, and I got a one straight out of the book. I call it the number 37, and it's this guy right here. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. You're like, I'll take the number 37. <laughs> I have one of those too, though. I have one of those too. I have like a little tribal right here. The number, the number four twenty, right there. I guess. So give me, the, give me the four, number four twenty, right there. Four twenty, fuck yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. It cuts off my whole sleeve. It's just like a halt. It's sleeve halt. Skip that thing real quick. Yeah, a little that, hurdle, man, and then that. keep it going. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what's one song of you guys that we have? Oh, my, my bad, Mark. Too. Do you have a? If you had to pick a least favorite, even though you like them all. Ooh, I mean, my first tattoo was very simple and was like, I don't know, 10 years ago now. So it's kind of fading, but it's, it's this little cat here. Uh, I've got a, I've got another cat down there, but this, this is my first cat. Uh, very simple. It's like kind of falling out a little bit and it's like a bit meh, but that's cool. Yeah, it's got sentimental value. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate it. 
Uh, should we play Into the Gray, or would you prefer we play a different song as the next one? And is this a cover of Justin Timberlake's track? That is a cover of Justin Timberlake, and I love it. Is there a video for it? No, I wish. I wish we did a video for it. Let's check out the cover real quick, and then... But there's a video for Into the Gray. I was legit sad when Britney Spears cheated on Justin Timberlake. I thought they were the best couple in the world at the time. And I was like, that oh, was like man. A couple <laughs> uh, fellas, you, for some reason, you're in the Museum of Music. This museum contains every single album ever made, but it just caught on fire. You can only grab one album to save. It's your favorite album ever made. It cannot be a greatest hits. What is the one album you're saving? Such a weird question, but... Just roll with me. <laughs> For me, it's the it's the it's the album that shaped me as a vocalist. But Sayerson's self-titled album, Sayerson by Sayerson, is I think goaded in my opinion. What that's a the translate yeah. the self-titled one that where Anthony came back. Now the self-titled one with the first album with the with the vocalist Cove, with Cove with Cove okay on the cover. Yeah, we're trying to get Cove Fucking on the show actually. Album. You know Cove's in uh, Dead American now. He's in a band called Dead American. Really? I heard that. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's not doesn't sound like Sayerson, but it's still legit. It's still pretty dope. Uh, I just remember hearing those fucking high vocals for the first time, and I was like, a, a, a human can do that, especially someone with like you know a masculine voice. Like you hear that guy talking, like how the fuck is that coming out of your yeah. like throat right now? It's so simple. Was probably one of my favorites off that one. So yeah, simple. 100%. Throwing it back to 2018, Into the Gray. Why is this one the fan? I'm assuming this is probably one of the fan favorites. Why do you guys think this is considered a fan favorite? I feel like it's pretty digestible. It could apply to anybody. I think it was a good transition as well. This is the first song I did with Inertia. They had a, another singer before, then I joined in. We did this song, so I think it was a transition that no one was expecting. And it just slaps. Like, it's it's super digestible. I think anyone can listen to it. I can show this to my mom, and she won't, you know, complain. <laughs> if, if it's too heavy, she would complain, though? Yeah, 100%. M my mom, same way. <laughs> my mom, same way. Do you usually use the same people for, uh, for video direction as far as who directs the videos, or do you... Do you jump around with different artists we've uh we've worked with different people on every video i think um yeah yeah, yeah. cool hell yeah uh, it's just nice i think it's nice to get like a videographer that can listen to your music and kind of create something on your behalf like i mean i watch a lot of movies but I, i'm clueless when it comes to shooting shit so like to have a director just come in and go i reckon this will look cool i reckon that's cool yeah you like the direction you like the yeah i like the direction yeah cool uh what can we expect from from you guys for the rest of uh, 2022 so we got this uh ep coming out next uh sorry this friday um it's our first uh release on a record label we're signed to resist records the same label behind polaris parkway drive all those fucking greats that come out of Australia. So um, that's our EP. We're going to tour a whole lot with that. And uh, we're writing a new record for Resist uh, as we speak. That's awesome. So so there's some tour stuff that just hasn't been announced yet. That is it's been announced. So we're touring, we're touring around the east coast of Australia all throughout uh, pretty much from now on with so much april may and that's going to be sydney melbourne adelaide and brisbane with a lot of cool uh, australian bands we've got deadlights out ocean sleeper big names in australia so it's going to be a fun time they're all club shows so awesome fun. does the label have uh plans down the road to come to the states send you guys to the states that's I always the dream right that's the dream, man. That's that's what we're working towards, man. I'm dreaming about it too. I'm dreaming you. about it too. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to California, you got to let me know. I'll bring a whole bunch of people with me for sure and definitely come support you guys. But uh fellas, I, yeah. I if you, one more time, please plug or promote uh anything you'd like. Fortunately it's the time we have to say goodbye, but uh, I appreciate you so much doing this. We've had a blast. Thanks for doing some hot sauce with me. But uh one more time, plug or promote anything you like, social media links, uh 
I know you said the the album comes out on this Friday, which is amazing. But um, whatever else you'd like to plug or promote. Man, thanks so much for having us, man. This has been a fucking blast. Thanks for the hot sauce chug. Hell yeah. Um, so EP is coming out. It's called Memoria. It's out this Friday through Resist Records. Listen to it. You'll love it, hopefully. And yeah, come to a show. If you're in if you're in Australia at the moment, just come to a show. Come have some fun. We're keen to show you what we've been working on. And yeah, just chill out. Let's do it. <laughs> any any final thoughts, Mark? Uh, Facebook, Instagram is the usual spots to get us. Just uh, slash Inertia Sydney. Uh, you'll find everything there. But uh, and yeah, follow yeah, us on Spotify. So Spotify. Follow us on Spotify. Pre-save the EP. It's gonna be amazing. I have a, a, a additional question. I don't know why, but I just now realized you have a Dennis Rodman shirt on, and you might also have a sports jersey on. Who you got on? So you have a LeBron. Is that a I LeBron? I got a LeBron Cavs. Are are you uh, are you Classic. born and raised a Bulls fan, or you just happen to like Dennis Rodman? Uh it's a bit of both. I do like Dennis Rodman as a bit of a, an icon in the basketball world, but uh, yeah, the Bulls. I mean, everyone loves Michael Jordan. Everyone loves like the '90s Bulls. Um, so it's just one of those iconic basketball teams. For sure, go Lakers. That's all I'm saying. Go Lakers. Fellas, I appreciate you so oh, much. Yeah, yeah. They're, Julian. They're, they're on they're on the down right now, but I yeah. AD's I gonna be back. Them. We're gonna AD's gonna, gonna be back. Season. We're gonna win our playing game yeah, and, yeah. and no one's gonna I'm wanna a, play I'm us the first round. Well. we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Julian and yeah. Mark of Inertia, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, guys, if you're watching and you enjoyed their music, please go on Spotify or YouTube, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, and support them. Inertia, ladies and yeah, gentlemen! Hell yeah! BG, thanks so much.